Oh. Well, that's uh, 10 to 4 in the morning, and there's not a drop of wind. No sound. It's lovely. So um, the plan is the plan is some caffeine. <laughs> Gonna get some coffee and then uh, head up Carmore Gerrard and then along the the Carmore Gerrard arete, and hopefully get to the top of the top of the of, of the UK. I suppose it's a Ben Nevis is the highest mountain in Scotland in the UK. So um, yeah, I think I'll be on the hopefully to be on the ridge at some point when the the sun comes up. So. But just perfect, absolutely perfect. So, yeah, let's get uh, let's get a brew on. So coffee made, I sat and enjoyed the view. There wasn't a breath of wind. It's not often you get these sort of conditions at this height in Scotland. It was absolutely fabulous. Let's go and have some fun. <laughs> so feeling a lot more awake after my caffeine, I set off and I was raring to go and head along the arete. Probably one of my favourite walks in Scotland. The sun's not up here yet, but if I spin round you can see the sun's up on Ben Nevis, which is about 200 metres higher. And uh, yeah, it's not quite reached me yet. <laughs> it will appear just over there shortly though, so let's even get to the top of here for uh, the sun coming up. <laughs> Fantastic. There she is. Just starting to rise above the horizon behind me. Fantastic, and I'm nearly at the summit. Carmor Gerard, just in time. Beautiful. What a morning. Well, here I am on the summit of Carnam Moor Gerard. You see the wee cairn below me there, and the sun's just coming up. It's fantastic. It's just popping across Anak Moor over there, and uh, yeah, what a, what a place to be. Not a drop of wind, no midges. Yeah, it's just one of those days. I'm so glad I came up. But uh, anyway, you can see my objective for this morning down, winding its way around, is the Carnam Moor Gerard Arete. And actually, the last time I was here, stood here was eight years ago, six years ago, can't remember, six or eight years ago during that winter, it was either 2010 or 2012 and the conditions were probably just as settled as they are now but in the middle of winter and I had a fantastic day, I was up super early and I didn't meet anybody until I was at the halfway lock and on the way back down, I had the whole place to myself, um, it looks like I'll have the right to myself but I know there's, there's some people camping on the summit so I'm looking forward to going up and saying hello to those guys, uh, what a place, absolutely Fantastic, look at that. Oh, beautiful. So that was me started on the arete, and the, and the whole arete is a fantastic experience, but I, I do enjoy this first part, and the views from here uh, over to the northeast of the bend are absolutely, absolutely superb, hard to beat it. I was having a great time. Just started the red See Carmor Jerig there, and the sun's just starting to peak above the uh, Anak Moor again. So I've dropped down a wee bit, you see. Uh, so you can see the route out below me, and then up to the bend in the sun. So yeah, it's absolutely roasting. I've had to take my gilet off. Um, <laughs> not often you say that at five o'clock in the morning, and about 1,100 meters in Scotland. So 
Anyway, I'm going to put this camera away, keep my GoPro out, and uh, yeah, enjoy this scramble. Let's go. dominating the horizon and it was really pulling me on and I made my way along the red. Uh, it's not a place to trip and I think, to be honest with you, the, the camera does make it look worse than it is but you still have to take care and, and to be honest I think the, uh, the red was easier when all these rocks were covered in snow but you know I was enjoying myself and I was taking, taking my time and making lots of stops just to enjoy the scenery and uh, yeah I took lots of photographs and uh, stopped for numerous breakfasts. It was absolutely brilliant. Probably more than halfway along the arete, you can see it stretch, you know, back up to Carmore, Gerard there, and you can see where I'm heading, I'm heading up there, um, the, uh, the little brain of a face there, straight up the skyline to the top, then the plan is to come back across the ridge, get the tent, then it's a long trip back to the car, but I'll just take my time, concentrate and go up this, uh, get to the top of, top of Scotland, but what a, what a morning! Was the, the sweat and toil worth it yesterday and this morning? Oh yes. <laughs> it's not often you get mornings like this in the bed. Fantastic. So I was soon approaching the end of the arete and the, the last of the scrambling and uh, as I got towards the cairn at the end I was uh, I was welcomed by five or six snow bunting. Absolutely fantastic. What a treat. Bunch. No fear. Those are the buntings or what? You see them?
I feel it. Well, that's me at the uh, the cairn. It marks the end of the ret. It's behind me. Oh, I've got to go all the way back along that in a minute, but uh, oh, it's just absolutely glorious. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. Look at this. Some moors away below me there. Um, you just see for miles. And, yeah, this is the this is the last sting in the tail. Steep pull up to the top of the bend. So we drink here and then up I go. A sting in the tail it certainly was and I must admit my legs were feeling pretty empty by this point but before long I found myself on the summit plateau and the, the top wasn't too far away. Few more steps and I was going to be stood on the highest point in Scotland. What a treat to have it to myself as well. There was a couple of wild campers but they were they were still cosied up in their beds and yeah I couldn't see anybody. It's not often you get the top of the bend this quiet, although it was still rather early. Well that's uh half past six in the morning. I'm being quiet because there's a few wild campers, I think they're still sleeping. Uh, but I'm come over to the observatory, just behind me there, and I've been over to the summit. And uh, it's just been absolutely fantastic, so uh, has it been worth it? Absolutely. I'm a bit knackered now though. <laughs> um, so, heading back down the, uh, the arete over to uh, Carmore Jerig, get the tent down, and head back off the hill. I'm just going to soak in the views up here for a bit longer, take some photos then get going. <laughs> so after enjoying about my seventh breakfast of the morning, I uh, dragged myself away from the observatory and the summit and made my way back down, and back across the uh, Carmore Jerigaret. Once I'd made it back to camp, the sun was well and truly up and all that was left to do was really strike camp and shoulder that big backpack again and it was, uh, yeah, it was soon time to head back home, but what a fantastic adventure this had been. Absolutely brilliant and one that will long last in the memory.